Hey guys, today we're gonna learn how to shoot a video walkthrough. Balance your gimbal, make sure it's good to go. Double check your camera settings. So on this particular Canon camera, this switch on the top will switch you into video mode. We're gonna go into our quick selection menu and we're gonna make sure that we are on 30 frames per second at low compression. They offer high compression and low compression and other frame rates, 24 frames, but really you want the highest frame rate you can at the highest resolution. So 1080 at 30 frames per second on low compression. For autofocus, typically a multi-flex zone for autofocus is good. For our picture profile, for photography, we leave it on auto, but we do a custom profile on the Canon cameras, and if we go into info, you can see those settings. So on sharpness, it'll be at a two. On contrast, it'll be a negative four. And on saturation, it'll be a negative two. For the outside, our aperture settings are either gonna be from a 10 to an 18, depending on how bright it is outside. Now, typically you want your shutter speed to be double what your frame rate is. So we're at 30 frames per second. So we want our shutter speed to be at 60. But if you're at 18 with your aperture and it is still too bright outside, then we're gonna turn up our shutter speed until it's the perfect exposure. Typically for the outside of the home, we can leave the ISO on auto. As with all of our shoots, you wanna pull all the real estate signs out of the yard to keep those out of the shots. Real estate agents get fined if those are in their videos. So we wanna keep them happy and pull those out before we start shooting. For the front side of the home, you wanna get at least five different angles that the video editor can choose from. Now you're trying to keep a nice smooth motion throughout all of your shots. And I'll walk you through the proper technique for getting nice smooth camera motion. All right, gimbal's on. Double check our camera settings. Make sure your autofocus is set up. All your camera settings are good to go. Then we'll hit record. And we're gonna set up our shot. Okay, nice and straight down. Bend the knees. And then we're gonna take a nice slow crouch. And we're gonna walk down to the front door. As you're walking down to the front door, you gotta watch out and make sure you're staying out of the reflections in the windows, and if it has a glass door, the reflections that are in the glass. So you always wanna get that straight on, walk down straight to the door, then you wanna to jump to the most attractive angle. This home looks much better on the right side of the home, so we're gonna take it in from this side, and we're just gonna start wide and then walk our way down to the front door. Set up our shot, get the home nice and centered, balance between the frame, hit record and then crouch, bend your knees and slowly work your way into the home. Nice and smooth. Watch your Z axis, your up and down motion with your arms. You wanna keep that as steady as possible walking down to the door. Walk all the way into the door, pause and stop recording. Another go-to shot is a 180 of the face of the home. So you're starting from either the left or the right side, and you're always keeping the home at the center of the shot, but you're just rotating around the home. Let's give it a shot. Make sure you start recording, and here we go. You'll stop once you get to the other side of the home and complete the 180. Another great shot to get to the face of the home is step to the most attractive angle looking down at the home. Then you're gonna zoom in your lens the whole way and depending on how the property sits on the land, either coming from the sky and tilting down over the home or just, or just simply coming from the right side to the left side and just doing a nice slow pan across the face of the home. We're gonna zoom in, set up our shot, get a nice balance of the home, and we're just gonna do a nice, slow pan across the home. Okay, and now, just for good measure, zoom, zoom out just a little bit so we can get the whole home in the image, and tilt up, 
and then we're going to slowly tilt down to reveal the home in the shot and then come to a slow stop. For a home like this, there's a lot of really cool details. So we're gonna push in, zoom in our lens, and kind of capture each of those little details. You can do it by either doing a nice tilt from top to bottom, bottom to top, or pan across the elements. Let's give some shots. In the backyard, you want it to look as spacious, as big as possible, so you're gonna start out the edges of the yard and kind of work your way in. Use elements like trees, uh, other types of landscaping to kind of hide behind and then use as a point that you can reveal different elements of the house. Let's get some shots. Hit record, set your shot, bend your knees, and do a nice slow movement. We're gonna push past the trees. Make sure you keep an eye out to prevent yourself from getting in the reflection of any of the glass. A fun shot to get is to tilt down, lean backwards, and as you lean forward, do a nice slow tilt up to reveal your object. Hit record, tilt back. Now start pushing forward, start tilting up at the same time. And then get a nice reveal. Keep pushing out your hands until you finish your shot. And now we're done. When you come into the porch area, it's gonna be darker here than in the rest of the backyard. So double check your exposure settings so that it's not pitch black. You're gonna have enough exposure to be able to clearly see all the porch area. To really capture this space, uh, it's good to kind of just do a nice, slow pan of the space. On pans, you don't want to go too fast or things will start to look jittery. So make sure your pans are just nice and slow. Of the back porch area, make sure you're getting at least five to 10 shots of the back and throw in a few detail shots as well. So we're gonna zoom in the lens, this is a cool fireplace here. And so we're gonna start tilting down, crouch down, and then we're just gonna do a nice little push here. Awesome. Now there's a cool grill here. So we're just gonna step in here and do a detail shot of this grill. Set our focus, leaning back. Now we're gonna start leaning forward, pushing forward. Now we're tilting up all at the same time to get this shot. Just like we do with photography, you're shooting for those 45 and straight on angles. It's very similar for video. You're gonna set up those angles, but instead of being a single shot, you're gonna add motion to it. Either pushing in or pulling out or doing a walk around. So starting at 145 degree angle, doing a 180 walk around to the other 45 degree angle. In the backyard, often there can be cool landscaping, maybe a pool or stream. Those elements we really wanna focus on, anything that's gonna set the home apart. So do a mixture of wide angles, pans, tilts, or zoom into the image and get nice detail shots of the stream trickling across the rocks or the hot tub bubbling. All those different types of elements can really make a video. For the inside of the home, you'll need to adjust your camera settings. Turn the aperture as low as it'll go. This particular lens will go down to 3.5, so we'll turn it all the way down. We're shooting at 30 frames per second, so we wanna at least have our shutter speed double our frames per second. So if our shutter speed was turned up higher to help darken how bright everything was outside, we're gonna go ahead and adjust that. I was at 125 when I was outside, so I'm gonna turn that down to 60 double what our frames per second was. Often you can leave your ISO on auto, but with bright windows on the backside of the home, 
it can really cause some issues and the camera will expose for the outside instead of the inside. Now, if that happens, we can't have the interior looking really dark. And so you're gonna to go to your ISO and you're gonna manually turn up your ISO and double check your image so that the interior of the home looks bright. For the inside of the home, you're gonna shoot it just like you would a photo tour. You're gonna to start with the entry and work your way into the living, kitchen, dining, formal dining, office, master bedroom, master bath, and then all the secondary bedrooms, bathrooms, and then if there's an upstairs, then you'll go upstairs as well. It helps our video editors know the flow of the home as they're putting the video together. All right, so we're gonna start with the entry of the home. Double check that your exposure is good. I'm a little bright here, so I'm gonna turn down my exposure. Make sure your focus is good. Hit record, center your shot, and do a nice push in to the front of the door. Often when I get to the edge of the door, I'll pick whatever angle in the corner looks best, and I'll just do a nice slow pan showing how the entry opens up. Now for chandeliers like this, these are really cool elements that accentuate the entry. So we're gonna zoom in and get a detail shot of that. I'm gonna tilt up, set your focus, hit record, and then we're gonna just do a nice push into the chandelier, lifting up our hands, trying to get nice and close. Another technique is, is the whole 180 shot or a full 360. Center this chandelier and then just do a nice rotation around the chandelier, getting a detail shot. Cool. Okay, so now we're gonna show uh, in all video walkthroughs, you're trying to show how each of these rooms connect together. So we're going to start an entryway, walking down, and then we're going to reveal the living room. Make sure you're zoomed back out to get a nice wide shot. Hit, hit record. Get your crouch. Do a nice push and just slowly rotate into the shot. And when you stop, don't abruptly stop your motion. You're gonna lean into your shot once you stop walking to continue the motion into the space. That way it gives the editor a little bit more room at the end just in case he needs a little bit more footage before you hit stop record. You're gonna come in from all the different corners in the living space. So here there's a nice hall just off the edge of the living room. So we're gonna come around and do a full 360 shot of this living room. So, all right, so we're gonna get a nice straight angle and we're gonna start rotating to the left into the living space. Nice, slow, even rotation as we're walking around. Double check your shot. Keep the fireplace as the focal as you come around. Keep it towards the center of the frame, rotate it, rotate it to the left, then you slowly stop your shot. Other fun shots to get uh, is a simple, okay, we're gonna lean back, tilt down, and as you lean forward, tilt up the camera, revealing the living room. Now we're gonna extend our arms, push our shot out, and there's our shot. Now, it's always nice to get some pan shots in the living room. So you're gonna come, you know, pan to the right. You're starting right and you're gonna pan left. Now for pans, you gotta do them nice and slow, nice and smooth and I'm kind of rotating my body as I'm panning to help reveal more of the room. Now, it's great to get detail shots in the living room. If there's an element like the mantle or the brick on the fireplace, those are really cool pieces that we can capture and accentuate. Sometimes it's good to switch back to auto ISO if you have a really dynamic shot that needs to adjust as you're shooting it. I like to do the lean backs and you kind of lean forward and it's one of my favorite shots to push up and tilt up. And that's, you can also do a, you know, get in nice and tight and just do a nice slow pan across. For your tilts, you don't want to take too long when you're tilting or the shot can appear wobbly once the video editor speeds up the shot. So, but you do want a nice smooth motion, not too fast. Okay, so now that we shot the living room, we're gonna do the kitchen next. 
Same thing as with the entry, connecting it through the rest of the home. So we're gonna hit record and we're gonna show how the kitchen connects to the living room. You know, push past the living room and move right into the kitchen. For the kitchen, you gotta be creative. There's lots of cool shots you can get in this area. So a fun shot is to walk down and then wrap around the side, keeping your, the kitchen sink as the focal point. Then you're gonna switch and walk backwards to complete the shot. So we're gonna get some detailed shots of the, uh, the stove. This is a really cool element here with, with the backsplash. Some shots to get, you zoom out wide, start down, you're at the sink, because we wanna show how the kitchen connects to the living room. And we're gonna hold back and then we're gonna slowly lean forward and we're gonna start tilting up. Got the kitchen sink and then we're pushing past it to look at the living room. Just kind of showing how they connect. So you're you know, utilizing hallways to, to get unique angles, showing how spaces connect. We're gonna start here and do a 180 around the kitchen island. Okay, now we're gonna get some shots of the dining. In the corner of these tighter spaces, it's good to just kind of wedge yourself in. Watch your verticals. You don't wanna be tilting down too much. Just like our photography, you wanna try and keep your vertical line straight. Not on every shot, but I would say on at least 50% of them. Push back in the corner and do a nice, slow, pan. Perfect. There's cool light here, so we're going to zoom in and get a detailed shot of that. And we're going to go shoot the master. Same deal. We're going to connect the spaces, zoom out wide, set your focus, hit record. We're going to walk through the hall, revealing the master. When you get into brand new rooms that you haven't shown yet, especially when you're coming through a doorway, through a hallway, so you're walking your normal pace through the hall, but once you hit the doorway, you pause your feet and you just lean into the shot with your legs, with your arms, and slowly just push into the shot before you stop recording. You know, if a master bedroom has a unique uh, ceiling piece like this, uh, for our tilt, we're gonna start uh, we're gonna start up versus down. Hit record and just do a nice tilt down. It's about the speed we want. If there are any cool elements in the master bedroom, you can get some detail shot of those. Make sure you always have an extra battery in your pocket just in case you run out mid shoot. Same concept throughout the home, you're gonna start showing a wide shot of the master bedroom and walk in and get a shot showing how it connects to the master bath. Make sure you double check your reflections in the mirrors, in the glass. Master bath areas are typically really hard to stay out of the glass, but you gotta do it. So a nice slow pan. We're gonna zoom in and get a detailed shot of this sink. Kinda push in a little bit and tilt up as we're getting a nice clean shot of this sink. And we'll go all the way to the lighting fixture. Sometimes it's even nice to get a a nice detail shot of the lighting fixture. Just do a rotation around it. The tub is this, especially with a tub like this, is an essential shot to get. Okay, 
do a wide shot. And then I'll often after I do the wide shot, I'll come back and do the same shot, but zoomed in. Get a shot of each element in the master bath, shower, sink, faucet, lighting fixture, bathtub. You don't need to get a shot of the commode though. Let's get the toilet. Make sure we're zoomed all the way out. Our focus is set. Hit record and we're gonna walk in and get a nice shot showing how the master bath and the master closet connect. Just gonna stop and do a nice pan. This master closet has really tall ceilings and so we're gonna do a nice tilt up and then tilt down and we're actually gonna push backwards out of the shot. It just helps accentuate how high the ceilings are in this space. Our next piece that the master closet connects to is this laundry room. So we'll shoot that next. Set our shot, make sure your focus is set. You have the proper exposure and then start your motion. Often I'll leave it recording after I do my first initial shot to do a nice slow pan across the space. Any elements like this dog wash, definitely zoom in and get a detail shot of that. If there's a mud room, make sure you get a mud room shot. Then we'll do secondary bedrooms. We're gonna start out outside of the doorway of the bedroom, set our shot, hit record, and then do a nice push into the space. Then we can turn to the left and then move to the right to kind of reveal the rest of the space. Get back in the opposite corner and we'll just do a nice pan across the space. So it's best with most gimbals to keep the gimbal handle right underneath the gimbal to keep your footage as steady as possible. Hit record, we're gonna push into the bathroom. As you get into the bathroom, you don't wanna get in the mirror, so you gotta pause and just slowly push into the space. Other ways to do this is we're gonna do a nice tilt down shot and now we're just gonna push up. Okay, so there's a cool shower and a Jack and Jill bath, and so we're gonna kinda just show how they all connect. Make sure your gimbal doesn't hit the wall and cause your camera to go haywire. Got a nice shower shot there, and I'm gonna push through and show the other bathroom. You're always thinking to do nice, slow pushes, shots, you don't wanna be whipping your camera around that doesn't make for good footage with a professional video shoot. If the shot needs to be sped up, the video editor will do it for you. With a video walkthrough on the inside of a home, you're really gonna to stick to a lot of the same angles you would shoot in photography, but instead you're gonna be adding motion to the shots. 45 degree angles, straight ons, and you're gonna turn them into motion by pushing into the shot, pulling out of the shot, tilting up or down, or panning from the left to the right. Uh, other types of shots are the 360 motion, where you're choosing your focal point more at the center of the space and then rotating around it. Have fun with video walkthroughs. It's a great way to be artistic and express some unique fun shots. Get lots of nice wide shots showing how big the space is, but don't forget about zooming in and getting those details. Have fun.